Hello and welcome back to Trains A New Era. Thank you very much for joining me this video and today we are going to be looking at part of at least the East Coast Main Line running from King's Cross to Edinburgh. I wonder if it actually runs that entire route. That's some 390 miles or so, I think. 390, 340, somewhere around that distance. It's a long journey right the way from the south of England all the way up to well, the south of Scotland, which is which is quite, quite long. Um, we're going to see if this this is actually an entire route or we're, or not. I mean, it seems to be because I was just looking at this beforehand. And if we look at, uh, for example, this one here that says Flying Scotsman, it says here, in 1862, the special Scotch Express was born of an agreement between the North British Railway, the North Eastern Railway, and the Great Northern Railway to operate a daily service in each direction between London, King's Cross, and Edinburgh Waverley, uh, providing a convenient link between the capital cities of England and Scotland. Following the Railways Act of 1921, which saw three companies absorbed into the London North Eastern Railway, LNER, which is a very, very famous name, the service adopted the name by which it has been unofficially known since the 1870s, the Flying Scotsman, and would, be and would become one of the world's most famous trains. And of course, the Flying Scotsman we actually know is this one here that I don't quite have yet. If you want to see this one, do let me know, but uh, that's the one that we know it has. But anyway, going back to this, you're in charge of a Class 55 Deltic at the head of the Flying Scotsman, ready to depart King's Cross. This is an express service stopping only at Newcastle and your destination at Edinburgh. So let's see what this is. It looks like we're going to be starting in King's Cross today, which is uh, right over here. Actually, that looks like Newcastle to me. Uh, so we're going to be starting from King's Cross and then heading out. That might actually be King's Cross. I mean, that looks... Yeah. Newcastle has a bit, a bit more curve to it, doesn't it? Uh, but we're going to see. Let's see what it's like. I don't know what it's going to be like. I don't know what the graphics are going to be like. So far, as you know from the previous videos, I've been mildly impressed with the graphics. But uh, I don't know... I don't know all too much as to how much there is on this. Obviously, we've done the tutorials. We've done all of that. We haven't really done tutorials on British Engine, which is interesting. Uh, I think they, they're potentially needs to be tutorials for every train I think that would that would be something that sets trains a new era apart from everything else uh, would be the fact that there are tutorials for every single train which I think would be incredible incredible to do anyway so what I'm going to be doing in this video it looks like I'm going to be taking this out for a run uh, I don't know how long I'm going to be taking it out for. I might do this in maybe two videos, maybe three, I'm not too sure. I may, I may just do the one. I may just do the one video and say, okay, that's it. Uh, I'm just going to run it uh, one time and see what it's like as far as we get in the next 20 odd minutes, which should be out of London for sure. And we should be definitely heading uh, in towards, or well, where does the line go? Does it go through Essex? I know it goes towards and through Cambridgeshire. I believe, then it goes through Rutland, Leicestershire, uh, then it starts heading out Nottinghamshire, might not go Nottinghamshire, I think it goes through Lincolnshire, uh, and then up towards Durham. Okay, so let's have a look. Uh, not too bad. King's Cross looks good. That was King's Cross, says the, uh, right, can I have a, can I have a look around? Uh, I've forgotten how to have a look around. Uh, control type, easy mode or realistic mode. Tell you what, we are going to go for realistic mode. I think that's a that's a good one for us. We are an experienced user. We have done this many times before. Oh, intercity. Why can't I have the intercity? Oh, I want I want the intercity. All right. Uh graphically that's not too bad. You're in charge of a class 55 Delta at the head of the Flying Scotsman at London King's Cross. Wait for the guard signal before departing from station to refer to the session objective for your timetable. Well, we're going to go uh, realistic mode there. Uh, proceed to Newcastle. Fantastic. Well, we've got a green signal there. We've got a green signal there. What I do want to do is I want to have a look outside first of all. This is highly... This is nice. This looks nice. Uh, it's not all too... I mean, obviously the graphics are dated somewhat. You can tell that the graphics are dated somewhat. Just look at that train. It doesn't have advanced shaders or anything like that. That's a, is that a class 101? I can't remember. And that's obviously a, that's an Intercity 125 um, class 43 consist. And then we're on the class 55. What's the name of ours? Crepello. 
All right, London King's Cross. What else do we have out here that we can see? Uh, that's supposed to be St. Pancras, I believe. Yeah, it doesn't have the railways out of there. The railways are supposed to go out there. See, it just it kind of cuts that part out, but that's because we're about to go straight into a tunnel. And then out here, can we see Euston? No. No, we can't see Euston either. All right, well, let's get ourselves underway. Let's uh, let's see what we find. So if I press control and right click. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. We're, we're driving. We're driving the train. Ooh. Okay. Let's do that ourselves. I just managed to... I managed to put that into the control of somebody else. Right. Class 55. Let's have a look. Uh, our AWS signal is going to be that. I don't know what that is. Isolate AWS in this cab. No, we're going to leave it on because we've got it right there. That's that button there as well, which I can't seem to... I can't seem to press. Okay. We've got that as a handbrake. Can I not... That is actually off. Um, interestingly enough, I don't have that. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm just trying to work out where everything is. Performance options we can leave as they are. Capture screenshots. Oh, that's how you capture a screenshot. Fantastic. Uh, view camera modes. Fine. Uh, I don't know what this drive schedule. Change direction, abandon schedule, move train, move to train, get off train, assign to player, local host. Fantastic. Um, that obviously shows the multiplayer capabilities of this. Couple, decouple, run around train, wait for, notify, halt train, and delete train. All right, so we've got all the options available as you would expect. Uh, if I put the reverse lever in, okay, no, apparently I can't drive this train at the moment. What have I done? Uh, What's going on? What's going on? Stop train. Drive schedule. No. No, no, no. I've done something. I've done something really wrong here. Uh, assign to player. Here we go. Assign to player. No. I've done this. Okay. Local host. Is that mine now? Let's do none. Assign to player, local host. Can I now control this? No, I've made a mess up of this already. Can I restart? Um, is there no way to restart this? No. What, what I've done here is by, by messing around with the controls, I have gone and... Uh, repeat. No, don't repeat. Uh, don't repeat. How do, I, how do I stop the abandoned schedule? There we go. Can I now drive it myself? Uh, assigned player, me. Change direction, no. This is a uh, view details. What's this? Oh, this is this is cool. This is very cool. Okay, so Harry, weight and tow, priority, headlights on, yes. Head code panel options. There's an access panel on the front end. How do I... Ooh. Okay. So if I go outside... We haven't moved anywhere, I know. So there should be an access panel here. Which I cannot see at this moment in time. Oh, well. I mean, we're just stuck here at the moment. We should be going somewhere. And I don't know how to do it. That's paused. That's not what I want to do. Uh, what have I done? Yeah, I have certainly uh, messed something up here. In in my effort to be smart. Oh, what if I just went drive schedule? Is it just going to go? I don't know. That just got rid of two hundred fifty points. Tell you what, I'll restart. It's a uh, not save that so obviously obviously we've we've seen something here now already we've seen what not to do uh the, the wrong thing to do all right let's try and do this one more time yes shush you're in charge of right i don't know why it lagged out there you're in charge of the class 55 we know this realistic mode tick no we're not getting anywhere here 
but we're not getting anywhere here. Like, I cannot control any of this right now. Why can I not control any of this? I can't press any of the buttons. Proceed to Newcastle. There we go. My controls are here. Right, okay. So, reverse the lever in forward. Uh, brakes are off. Throttle lever is there. Handbrake is off. Uh, the train brake is in... Is that full release? That's not full release, is it? No, can't. Release. Release. Oh, yes, it goes to release and then running. Okay. That's fine. That's now off. Uh, we have a horn. Oh, that's a very standard horn. Yes, that's, that's a classic horn. I, I know that noise. All right. And we should give it a little bit of throttle. And we are moving. Right. We managed to get it moving this time. Let's make this a half an hour video since I, since I spent so much time trying to uh, mess this up. Right. Instrument brightness. Can't really do much there. Uh, we've got our lights on, our headlights. Is there any other lights we have in here that we can... Any Anything we can click in here? Not much. I don't know what that did. All right. What's that? Hot plate. Ooh. Hot plate on low. That button still doesn't work. Right, let's just get ourselves out of here. Uh, what's that? 15 mile an hour speed limit? I think I just see. I think I see a 15 mile an hour speed limit. So we've got a, a Delta parked up there. Class 101, I think. We've got the Class 43 behind us. Let's give ourselves a little bit more throttle. I do like the noise. Um, it has that classic noise. Although I think that's coming from a different engine. That's a Class 47? Class 55? Class 47, I think. Yes, 47. Even says 47265. These ones should have a registry of 55 something. I think, yeah, 55012. There you go. And those ones will have a registry of 43. So that should tell me what these are. 101s? Yeah, I think that reads 101. Alright, I am doing 8 miles an hour at this moment in time. So I'm going to bring that throttle back. There we go. We are slightly speeding, but that's okay. We're, we're when you approach restrictive signals, acknowledge the audible warning by pressing the blue button next to the AWS Sunflower. What blue button? Oh, you mean this? Yes, yes, yes. I know that. If the track is clear, then a bell rings for back. Yes, I know that. I know the noises. I know the noises. No need to tell me. So then you'll hear the noises, and when you hear them, I'll tell you what they are. If you've never uh, watched any of my videos before on anything like that. Ooh, a little bit of a... Can I switch that on? I can as well. Right, let, let's switch that off before everything goes wrong. Nope, that's faster. That's... Nope, go, stop, 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 stop. There we go. Shh, we didn't press anything. Right, 15 mile an hour is now the speed limit. Get some power going. What was that? Ooh, what's that? I don't know. It's a bit of a shadow glitch, it seems. Definite shadow glitch. Hmm. Oh well. So we're going on an uphill gradient. It's not that. It's not that uh, sh problematic. We just got to give it a bit more power. There we go. Are my lights on? I don't even know. That's good. I like that. What's that? I don't know. That doesn't do anything. So we don't want to be using the independent train, uh, independent brake. We want to be using the train brake, and we're not going to be touching the handbrake. That's all this time. And we've got to watch this here, the ammeter. Uh, if I remember this train, this train's features correctly, we should be really keeping an eye on the ammeter here. Now this, 
see these noises here? They sound like they're repeating a little bit too often for, for my liking. So perhaps that's something they need to look at. I'm, I'm not too sure. All right, so we are now clearly out of King's Cross and heading on our journey out of London. Now, we should be swapping over tracks pretty soon. If I, if I know my tracks on the East Coast mainline, we... Sh Actually, no, hold on, we're two and two. Uh, we should be okay, but I feel like we might be swapping over to that track. Yeah, I feel like we might be swapping over. There we go. So that noise there, and you can see that the sunflower has gone out. That noise is telling me it's clear. So that, that's what that noise is all about. That noise is the clear noise. Let's give it a bit more throttle. I don't want this to go above 2,000. Ideally not above 1,800. There we go. The power's gone down quite nicely. That means it's gone up a gear, I believe. No, we got wheel slip. That was wheel slip. All right. You can see the light indicating wheel slip, so we'll just slow it down so we can get our uh, get our wheel slip under control. So that that's well simulated. So it didn't go up a gear. Actually, it had wheel slip, so it cut the power down and then brought it back up nice and slowly. Experience wheel slip again, so we had the flashing indicator uh, there in yellow, which is fine. So yes, this this sunflower that I was talking about. So that's the AWS signal. That's the automatic warning system. Um, when that made that noise, that little bell noise, that means that the next signal is clear. There aren't any speed limit changes that I need to be aware of that are going down or anything of the sort. It will make a noise now in in a train like this, given the age of the train, it should be a bit of a it should be like a klaxon sort of noise, not a not a beeper or a horn. There's another one of those bells that's just telling me uh, that it's that it's all fine. There's another train going past. I can hear it in the other tunnel bit of a glitch there that's okay all right uh, I sh think we should be okay now at 27 miles an hour to crank up the throttle a little bit more that there is a repeater signal that's telling me that the signal at the end of the platform is green uh, sorry is not green that that is a signal saying it's not green but I don't see how that's possible It should have been showing green. It should be in a green with a line across the middle, not white with a... Mind you, then again, it was white with a diagonal line, so that's uh, that's different. Those are intercity coaches, Mark 3s. The Mark 3s or Mark 2s? They might be Mark, they might be Mark 2s right there. Uh, right, and I think we should be able to stop cranking power up even further. Now, there are issues with the shadowing as you can see and the shaders oh here's some lights instrument lights on uh, cab lights on route indicator lights on sure let's have a look outside now yeah we are we are starting to potter out of London my only issue is when I look out there now now I can see as you can see I can see the outside and some more roots all the way down here. But I mean, it does look British, which is good. Another green signal ahead of us. Those houses are a little bit bent. But again, out there, it's uh, it's very empty. That's that's an issue that I have with with this route so far. Is is the emptiness of the route? It doesn't feel it doesn't feel all too alive, in in my opinion, anyway. As as we start leaving London. Can I just crank this up to full throttle at this point? There you go. You can hear the uh, the bogies going over the, the rails, the wheels. It's a very classic noise. There's another platform here. Which platform is this? This can't be Potter's Bar already, can it? I don't think so. I don't think so. So we're just going to put our foot down for now as we as we make our way out of London. It's 
still going 57 miles an hour maximum speed on this train is 100 miles an hour now that's gone a little bit weird that that uh, noise has gone a little bit weird which is a little bit also a little bit awkward so I think this station may be Haringey ah yes see the repeater is upwards and horizontal that's off there's an intercity 125 which surprisingly does sound like an intercity 125 uh, not brilliant but it does sound like one now I have tried setting the all the settings to absolute maximum at this point in time uh, maybe not the best of idea it seems to be stuttering a little a little bit uh, I'm just trying to recognize where exactly we are this ooh. just trying to work out is this wood green possibly be wood green there's a car wash there or should I say a train wash right there how lovely so I think we're still in London at this point in time and we've got I suppose Barnet would be next and then we'd be heading out towards Potter's Bar uh, this one here right what's this station uh, this could be wood green Let's have a look. Does it tell us outside? No, I, I can't see a... Oh, hold on. If I were to... No, we're going to try and work it out. We're going to try and work it out for ourselves. That goes that way. Yes, uh, this has got to be wood green. There's a, at wood green, I'm sure there's a, there's a route that goes off to the... to the uh, left-hand side. Oh, sorry, to the right-hand side. All right, into another tunnel. Texture, unfortunately, textures do flicker. Uh, perhaps something that needs to be again addressed. This is an old title, after all. Uh, obviously not a new title at all. This isn't like Trains in World or anything like that. This is a much older title. And it does seem to be struggling at this point in time. In fact, it's lagging quite remarkably that's a remarkable amount of lag right there. As a matter of fact, it has stopped right there. That's a remarkable amount of lag. And it's back. And it's smooth. Or oh, fairly smooth. Right, I wonder what happened there. Alright, so this should now be a New Southgate station, I think. This should be New Southgate station. We went under the North Circular. It says waiting room there. Which means that this that's Barnet's Road above us. And we should be getting to East Barnet now. So I mean I, I do have this sort of just maxed out at the moment, which is a little bit I don't know, the sounds the sounds are a little bit repetitive on it. Um there doesn't seem seem to be much going on. Obviously you can have a much more uh much more intriguing, harder schedule on this if you want to if you want to have something like that if that's what you, if that's what you want to do but at this moment in time it's not all too it's not it's not brilliant at this moment in time with with regards to the actual setup so it's, it's a little bit easy obviously this is an express service i think the sounds really need work that's my personal opinion the sounds are really repetitive it, it's just just if you just take a listen I'm going to stay quiet for uh, a moment or so just men just talking about stations that we pass so you can hear that's very repetitive um, so you really need something to keep yourself entertained whilst you're doing this this is now uh, Oakley Park I think as a matter of fact, I just saw a sign. That's why I'm just pausing it. I did see a sign. Uh, is it? Control and right click.
I can't I can't do that. Uh hold on, there is a free look view, right? Free roaming view, there it is. I just want to see, I saw a sign here. Is this Oakley Park? It is Oakley Park. Okay, so the fact that I can recognize that's something. The fact that I can recognize the different stations and where we are. So we should have another bridge coming up. There's the overbridge. And so let's have a look around. So, okay, so accuracy seems to be there. There's a road that goes underneath. That's, that's there. There's a road that goes along the side. That road that goes along that side as well. That's, that's what should be there. I don't recognize this station. That's New Barnet. Yes, okay. And then we've got the, the main road going underneath. Yes. Fantastic. Okay. I think that's supposed to be a Sainsbury's there. Just, just going to point that out. Alright, and now, now we're sort of going out of London. So we should be heading towards Potter's Bar very soon. I think we have one more station to get through before we head into Potter's Bar. But now that the city is thinning out, uh, it's more countryside. And we should be, we should be coming up to the M25 pretty soon so you know what I'm going to do I'm actually going to uh, end this video in I think once we reach Potter's Bar I will end this video and then we'll do another part of the video where we go to uh, Brookman's Park, Wellham Green, uh, Hatfield probably up to Welling Garden City or something like that and let me know then if you want to see more and then I'll continue alright so this should be I think Hadley Wood. It should be Hadley Wood, which means the M25 is not too far away from us. Now, I can't... I think the train... Yeah, the train line does go underneath the M25. So we should be looking for a motorway fairly soon. And yeah, the countryside looks pretty good. Fences are a little bit wobbly. Uh, actually, I don't like that side as much. This side's a lot nicer. That side needs a little bit... That side needs some work. Now the question is, this is a long tunnel. Now do we end up going under the M25 in this tunnel? I don't know. Generally when I go to London, I from the M25, I only go from around Junction 21. And I go anti-clockwise. I'm not often going clockwise all the way out this way. It's, it's rare for me to be doing that. What have we got here? Yeah, I think we have we have gone past the M25. We are now in Potter's Bar. So we should be coming up to the Potter's Bar station very, very soon. And we are still in full full throttle. There's Potter's Bar. There was a very, very nasty accident here involving a class 43 uh, and a whole Intercity 125 engine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, very nice. Is this Potter's Bar? It seems a little bit small to be Potter's Bar. I thought Potter's Bar was bigger. No, but it must be Potter's Bar. It must be Potter's Bar. Anyway, I'm going to end that video here. Like I said, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on trains and new era. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think. Where do you feel that trains need improvement? Maybe if they work on a new version of trains, would it be nice to see these all in, in a new engine? I think that would be absolutely incredible if they could pull that off. Um, in fact, you know what? I would like them to do that. I would genuinely like them to do that. That would be that would be really cool. If if you guys are watching this, if any of the developers of trains are watching this, if you want to develop a new title that is basically trains a new era, just updated with enhanced graphics and stuff like that, that would be sublime. That really would be sublime. Enhance the sounds, enhance the graphics. And I think you're on to a winner here. I love the fact that we've got a route that's... It just seems to be going on. It looks like it is going to be 300 miles. Or 300 and whatever it is. Is it 393? I really don't know. 
I'm really not sure. Anyway, we're coming up to Brookman's Park now, so I am going to end this video. Uh, like I said, if you're watching this on Twitch, uh, follow and thumbs up, please. Uh, that would be really, really appreciated. Yeah, I think this is Brooklyn's Park. Certainly looks like it's reading that. And uh, we'll see what happens. We will definitely see what happens. I will join you guys for the next part of this journey where we'll be going through Hatfield, Welling Garden City. Uh, what else will we, will we be going up to? We'll be going up towards Stevenage, so on and so forth. Uh, and if you can afford to do so please do consider supporting me on patreon link to that is in the description box below your support would be massively massively appreciated it would help me out a huge huge amount thank you very much for watching once again and i will see you guys next time in trains a new era